Welcome to uh, the decisive or, or decisive games uh, Arden Offensive. We are playing the big campaign, Wacht am Rhein, and this is me playing Germans or Axis, 21st December 1944. So we have come quite far, like five uh, whole days into the campaign, and we are, um, uh, we have moved uh, everything during the morning of the 21st December 1944. So we're going to take a look at the enemy movement. But last time during the last episode, I um, I was thinking that maybe there was something I f had forgotten and I just remember what it was. And that was, I was considering maybe um, firing some Werfers, basically some Nebelwerfers. And um, uh, that's something I want to do. I'm going to move these guys over here to keep close to um, any type of uh, supply lines. I'm thinking, let's see here. Yeah, well, that doesn't really help, does it? <laughs> but anyway, uh, I'm going to do that and then we'll see. Uh, I don't know why the supply is this poor, really. Let's see here. Yeah, I could have more. Well, Probably has to do with this that people or like we've had units moving around there. But let's see here if yeah. And then we have this situation here. In general, I think this is due to all the traffic uh, or or transportation supply transportation. But anyway, I want to um, go over here so that I can fire onto these guys here. Although they have tanks, they have one tractor and some bazooka guys, basically. I don't know. It's better better than nothing, I'm thinking. So let's move these guys in here. All right. And we also have these guys and let's see here. Then. Yeah, there's nothing else that I want to move there, really. OK, so let's just fire these ones, I think, one at a time. Right, because it doesn't add. Oh, it actually does. But not that one. OK, let's fire. <coughs> oh, sorry. Well, <laughs> because they do have um, armor here, we actually managed to take out one uh, Sherman tank, which is fantastic. A couple of bazookas. That's more than I expected, but um, that's great. And fire. Nothing. And then we can see if we can add anything here. Let's see here. Yeah, but how poor are these guys really? Okay, so it's 2,800 if added together. Yeah, pretty much we had this problem and that's fine. Let's go for this. Oh, we got four trucks and two bazooka guys. It's a bit of a waste there. <laughs> Emptying out all our internal uh, supplies. Maybe that was totally stupid. I think it might have been. Anyway, that's it. So we are going to take a look now at, well, actually before this one is going to get his kick, uh, teeth kicked in if we don't move this guy back. So let's do that. And then we continue now with the enemy movement. Let's have a look. So we'll see what they are up to, what they can do. It's always interesting.
Right. Doesn't sound good. We have... Okay. We lost four panthers right there. We did have protection though. I know that. Didn't we? No, that was spa. Yeah, I think we did, but... Anyway, we have a couple of attacks there, but... Need to take a look at them more closely. That's Hufalis, they're moving away from 116th Panzer. That's Verbomol, they're moving away from uh, 1st SS and so on. They attacked us, we survived, they got some damage right there. That's Laglaise and Stumont. Yeah, they seem to be re retreating all the way here. That is up by 116th as well. That is up uh, by Spa. They really, that's interesting to see whether they're going to evacuate that city up there next to Spa. That was the eastern part of Spa that we saw there. That's Hofalis. Ooh, yeah, it's interesting. They lost 10 there. They're moving away from Mersch. Which makes sense, total sense. Totally evacuating that one. Not succeeding though, Evans is coming back. This is Redange, they are also moving back towards Arlon. That was Vilsalm. This is Rutgen, they are moving back. Moving away. Are they gonna leave Rutgen? No, they are pulling up. At around Rutgen there. This is, I think, oh no, I don't know. Oh, that's Orthoville. That's Salm. Bills, uh, no, 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 the spa. They are emptying right now. Two still left in the, one left there in the city, and they left Marto. That's fantastic. <laughs> All right. That's Hufalis up there as well. That's north of Spa, northeast of Spa. Ooh, look at that. That's going to be one fight. That's interesting. And let's see here, that's Dumo. That's north of Spa, that's Spa, west of Spa. This is Orthoville. They're moving in and away. Right, oh, look at that. That's in such an interesting positioning right there across the um, river. And this is towards open. And uh, I think we're down south, maybe? Falois, okay, yeah, that's south of Bastogne. This is Redonge. Go so fast here. All right, end of turn. Well, this is going to be interesting. So, as always, we take a look at the weather and VPs first. I think we had VPs of 149 last time, if I'm not mistaken. And we have taken Hufalis this time, so that should add some points as well. All right, let's take a look at the weather and the VPs. So we have Overcast, and this is the last turn of Overcast for the foreseeable future. Then we have Light Precipitation, and it's going to be... Uh, no mud, it's just going to be below zero, light freeze. So let's have a look. We have 136 VPs plus 22 extra. We're up at 158. So we're really moving quite fast towards a major victory. We just shy of a minor victory at this moment. So that's pretty cool. So let's bring up the phone and take a look at the calculator and then we'll see we are doing last time i think we were up at was it 5.6 or maybe 5.8 even 
maybe when it comes to the um, ratio kill ratio so we have lost 11,077 while they have lost 64 8 5 6 and that means it's a 5.9 ratio we are approaching slowly but surely a 6.0 uh, ratio which is fantastic let's take a look at the stats cards and stats there are no new cards at this moment we have 74 points altogether <clears throat> which means that next turn we will be able to deploy the last reserve hypothetical reserve or, or the reserve that we have here so yeah that's pretty cool we have fuel at 73, which I think we had last time. So if we want to go for this one, we could. And, but we also have a supply of 28. So that's going to be interesting. We have reduced uh, air. And then we are going to take a look at the stats. Now this is going to be interesting. So this is the total troops. And as always, we want to have as big of a difference as possible. And we can actually see that they have an increase. That means they have received some kind of reinforcements, I'm pretty sure. But so have we in the next or in this uh, turn, we will be able to move. I think it's 11 Panzer Division, something like that. So we do have an increase here, like for 3000 something 500 troops anyway so that's pretty cool uh it looks fantastic in that sense casualties inflicted we see that we have the same kind of slope that we've had before uh during uh the 1800 hours no that's the 600 hour um the morning turn so uh we inflicted exactly 6000 troops uh, casualties while they inflict 500 so to me that's a 12 to 1 right now um, and total it's a 6 to 1 I guess almost so looks fantastic <laughs> let's take a look at regime statistics and this is where it can be <clears throat> a bit worrying uh, let's take a look at supply first so as always the white one indicates how much we get from off map and the red one is what has been sent to units uh, it's always nice to if you one is able to have more uh, of course receiving from off map uh, versus sent to units but that's usually not uh, possible because we have lots of units requesting lots of supply and um, we just simply uh, well Germany is not able to uh, supply us with uh, more than we actually get so or, or that that we get yeah exactly so that is why we are seeing dwindling numbers basically right here uh, and this I think that this decrease right there has to do with this difference here. Is it? I don't know, really. I don't know. And then we're also increasing um, spa, for example. We're increasing that one, making sure that we're filling uh, that one up, which is a good thing to do. So supply wise, we're doing good, but we could definitely use another one. Uh, which we should actually go for this turn, I think. But let's take a look at unit supplies. So this is the uh, number of supplies that all of our units have, which is still good. It's high. And then we have, this is what we requested, and that's what we got. So that's, uh, we, we will, of course, always want to keep this one close. Uh, but um, it doesn't look that bad, actually. So uh, we don't need to go for a supply, but it might be time anyway. It's never bad to do that if, since we have the points and everything. And also another thing to consider is that we brought on 
several divisions and they will also be using supply so uh, yeah that's also a balance it's very easy I, I guess to just bring in more and more units but they were they will consume also so even though they will you know take out enemies um, it's still gonna consume so that's a problem let's take a look at fuel then and uh, we can see that we are running down a bit low on fuel when it comes to our source stocks supply source stocks uh, this is really the low uh, kind of as we can see there we can see that here here so um, we would want to definitely add some more because as we can see here we did send a lot more than we actually received so this is really worrisome so it's a problem of course then the problem is that we it costs us so much so we are actually running out of fuel slightly so this is a problem so let's go for a fuel card i think because that's our most important thing so let's go for that because we do have the points next turn it's probably going to cost us like 80 90 maybe points but um yeah so that's everything with cards simply and uh we are going now going to take a look at the history basically 402 steps let's take a look so we have the divisional hq of 99 moving away from let's see here this is spa right up here and uh, moving away we have another divisional headquarter moving towards la glaze and we were talking about last time that I wanted to well I took a chance basically to empty this one and move uh, a unit away here so that uh, I will move others in here uh, so hopefully it's not gonna go all the way down there which I don't think it did we have the 101st airborne division HQ and uh, we have two HQs uh, west of Bastogne and we can see that it's moving and it's moving down south or maybe west rather that's it we have an unknown unit moving somewhere around here up here i guess and uh, that's a rutgen up here rutgen what do we have here we have this is Mersh. So we have a divisional HQ moving away there. No, he's actually approaching, which is fantastic for us. And then we have a new unit coming in here. Could these ones be reinforcements perhaps? I don't know. So here we are, quite unfortunate. This is Spa right here. And we can see that they had 16 aircrafts and we were only able to repel eight of them. So um, we got hit with so four out of 89 almost 90 panthers so we lost like four percent five percent actually um so that's unfortunate and not okay and they hit this one also but there we lost just a stug and a transport no yak panthers or panther panzer fours and up here they also hit us here but we lost no panthers but just a transport and a Panzerschreck. and they also hit us here with this one okay so this is Verbamont and we had repel 13 out of 14 and we lost nothing and also here my god there you go 7 out of 9 we were able to um repel and we lost nothing there and this is also outside of stomo we are sitting in a city here also and this is 333 moving away from berton or maybe approaching i don't know we'll see we have tim wilson moving away from spa or maybe approaching 
seems like he's moving away. We had Team Walker outside of Verbomont approaching, I think, because they had one here, one here last time. Or maybe not. Moving upwards. Walker coming up here instead. Uh, so from down here in Verbomont, I guess he's moved all the way up here. I would assume so. Then we have Hufalis here. We have 334s moving away in or out. I'm not sure. But away it seems like. Yeah. We have 334s moving away there as well. We had an 18th infantry regiment moving somewhere. And we have Verbamol is coming. Yeah, so he's moving over here. And then we have Team King moving. And it seems like maybe he's showing up there or maybe that's someone else. And here is a 509. Is he leaving Cheval? I think he did. Um, no. no, he's leaving this one. Okay. It was actually, I think, a rather strong unit. Anyway, moving away here, which is nice for us. Moving towards Verbomont. And this one is outside Spa. This is 745 tank battalion moving, I think, away. Yes. And we have 16th. This is outside of Stumont. He get intercepted and approach. No, moving away. And then we have this guy getting a hit, but they lost two 20 area, uh, rear area units, 15 bazookas, they lost one truck. So this is how it's a unit trying to escape, basically. Right. That was a fantastic placement right there. All right, and they move up the 26. And they are moving things up here. Look at this line right here building up. Right. We have 26 infantry also outside Spa moving away, I think. An unknown unit leaving and get intercepted. Unknown unit coming up here instead or leaving. We have Team Fitzgerald outside Verbomo moving up north. We have, uh, let's see here, this is outside Hufalis. So we had lots of units here running away to the west. And now I think they're going back up north towards Verbomo and Manhai. I would assume so. Yes, it looks like it. And then we are back at Stumo. Scott, Team Scott got hit. And then we have an unknown unit outside of Spa in here. 335 coming up and disappearing. Moving up there instead. Moving forward. And sliding in there and get hit. We have an unknown unit. We have Team Brown moving another unknown unit so it seems like they're emptying this over here and going up here to meet the second SS and then they are emptying this hex because we scared them off of course and that's T Morgan moving away getting intercepted and what else unknown unit where are you there in Manil and this is Vilsalm West of Ilsan, moving way. And this is the third tank battalion outside of Ilsan that was sitting in this city here. So I'm happy that they're moving away there. Ooh, they came up there. I wonder who's seeing this guy. That one probably, yeah. All right, an unknown unit moving outside of Vervier, which is interesting here. And this is north of, northeast of Spa, right there. And that is Harris, Team Harris coming down and moving away. There's another unit, an AA battalion moving 
away and in there. And third unknown unit, AA battalion moving. Okay. And then we are outside Rotgen right now, moving away. And what else we have? We have uh, 105 artillery. This is outside Hufalis, moving away. 909 actually, yeah. Well. And then we have an artillery battalion. I think he was sitting in there. Then we have 29th infantry outside of Hufali. So these guys were sitting together, I think. And uh, now he's going that direction. And Campbell as well. Campbell is a tank unit. And he's actually go moving away, which is good for us. All right. Here we get hit by this lone unit trying to escape, basically. But they lose 10 airborne units out of 50. So they kind of weak. Anyway, we have an airborne unit right here. This is Trapon. And they were, I think, sitting here because we just um, came up next to them. So they don't probably don't, but well, they're probably going to move this way, I think. <clears throat> they get hit there. And well, we have Team Ford moving away from Mersch all the way down in the south. They're kind of far away. We have Standish moving also away. We have a 16th Armored Infantry Battalion moving away. We have Team Task Force Chamberlain moving away. Then we have Jackson trying to move away, not succeeding. Or, I don't know, that's an unknown. We have Team Evans moving away also down from the south. This was a bit worrisome. But I think they are worried about this one also. And Mersch totally being lost. Force Riley in here. That was hit before. Um, up here, I think. Is trying to move away as well. We, then we have an infantry regiment, the 8th. Uh, that was sitting close to the Fallschirmjägers. I think just in the open, I guess. And they are leaving Ooh, over here. See, they are moving very, very fast. Wow. And then we have Redange. So this is all the way down in the south as well, where, where the fifth Fallschirmjäger uh, are. And we have Team Collins showing up here. Maybe moving away from here. I can't remember where he was sitting. But they are moving away down past Redange towards Arlon, I guess. We have an artillery battalion coming up there, moving away. I think he was sitting somewhere around here. And then we have an unknown unit somewhere there. We have an intercept fire. Someone moving. Where is this? This is Velsalm. I see. So this could be, I'm not sure. This could be uh, the artillery battalion that was sitting there. Royal artillery battalion trying to move away. I'm not sure. Then we have the 5 of 5. This is Trapon. So there's another one coming and going. I don't know where he's going to go. Okay. We have another one showing up there. And actually leaving. And then they're putting up some kind of barrier here. Now oh, we have even more coming up here. I don't know. I'm not sure if they're coming from this one direction. We'll see. This is a whole bun A going up here. And what do we have? Team Kelly's moving here. That's interesting. And where are you going to go? Yeah, you can't go there. So you had to go there, I guess. Davis sees that as well. And he's just staying there. So that's going to be easy pickings. Here we have um, <clears throat> the road towards open. And this is Monshao over here. We um, have some kind of positioning here. Moving away. Okay, good. James is showing up, isn't he? We have one. Okay, so he's coming. He's moving from here in here then, is that? Is he? Yeah, but we also had Brook there. Okay, cool. And they're moving away. And so is that one. Infantry Green also moving down, I think. Getting intercepted. 
and uh, another 311 also moving away into Rutgen, but also gets intercepted and stays. We have a tank battalion moving away, and we have an artillery battalion. So these guys, they just sat down there. That's interesting. And artillery moving, I think, in perhaps. I don't know. And then they do have a tank battalion moving from here, I think. No, from here, perhaps. I don't know. Moving in there. That's interesting. And get intercepted. And we have a second battalion moving in there. Okay. So that's, uh, they're really putting up a resistance trying to protect Watkin. <clears throat> it's not going to work though, because we have so many units there. But really, what are they going to do? We have Faloa here, and this is the interesting three, four units uh, trying to run to the west, and the southwest. We have Kaufmann here, and we have Martelange over here. So they're desperately trying to escape. And um, I mean, successfully doing that, I think. Uh, moving away at least. We have the 501 probably moving away from here. Also trying to go down here. So now there is six of them. Seven of them. That's interesting. That's a little bit too many for us down there. But as long as they move away from Bastogne, I'm happy. Here is Orthovel. So this one was sitting in here. I think he's moving over there and he's actually moving away. Thank you. Keeping Orthovel open, it seems. This is Spa again. They have so many units and then we have units moving in and getting intercepted. And then moving in there. Moving in. And there we have getting intercepted they're moving and shuffling they're emptying this one which we saw and now they're moving things away okay we have an unknown unit and uh, this is spa right there so in the northern sector they're showing up and reinforcing okay Shuffling, moving, okay. We have Team Harris in the northern sector of Spa. It's northeastern one showing up and reinforcing. Ooh, interesting. Next to us, we have a recon unit, the ninth, going inside, getting hit. And that, that's it, all right. <coughs> this is outside of Hufalis. Some reinforcements coming in here also. And this is again north of Spa, northeast of Spa. Reinforcing Harris. Reinforcing Harris. Reinforcing Harris. And reinforcing right there. In there, taking that position, okay. Sets up for an attack against us, uh, for sure. What else? We have uh, Stomont here. We have Team Jones moving. I don't know where he moved from, but he gets intercepted. Uh, okay, and we have another one moving there. He gets intercepted. This is again Spa. Team Robinson there. Moving away, actually. Moving down. And here is Polleur, which is in the northern sector, northeastern sector, moving away. Unknown unit again, coming up here, probably from this direction here. And then we, uh, from Rolban A, this is La Glaise, this is Stomont. We have the 18th showing up there. We have reinforcements of the spa. It's a, actually a very beautiful one. Reinforcing here, which makes sense. And this is Verbomont. They're emptying that one in here where is this one that's Tomo. It's a bit further away also reinforcing wonder if these are new ones coming in i don't know this is orthoville this is berton and we have this unit that was sitting in berthamont that we were thinking about 
attacking with our stugs. But he goes there, and that's it. And with that unit, did he go in there? Couldn't see. Seems like it. They're probably going to escape there. Yep, shows probably up there. Or there. Maybe goes back. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> anyway, combat engineer here, probably leaving here. And this is. Yeah, this is northwest of. Uh, of. Uh, uh, Baston, I think, isn't it? No? Wait, where is this one? No, this is, uh, yeah, it is towards Orthville. Okay, so it's actually southwest of, okay, fine. And we have an engineering unit moving away that was hammered before, I think. Hammered not as in drinking alcohol, but kicked his ass, basically. So, um, what do we have here? Then we have an AA unit showing up and reinforcing another unit. My god, they have so many units there. But we have Urfus in here. That's perfect. Not a gr uh, like a whole lot of, but still. <laughs> we have infantry regiments moving. And this is the road towards open in the north. He's actually sort of reinforcing, is he? Yes, he is. Okay. Makes sense. We have Price, Team Price. And this one. I, these are the pesky ones uh, just north of Martelange. Team Price moving, moving west, which is totally all right for me. Reed <coughs> doing the same thing. And then we have 14th Cavalry Group. And this is close to Spa right here. And 99th showing up, 14th. We have the 28th moving away from the northwest part of uh, uh, Baston, the western part of Baston. We have an unknown unit somewhere here. Uh, this is Redange, this is Martelange. We have an unknown unit moving in there, moving away. And that's it. And we have first battalion coming in here. That's something I'd, would, I would really like to attack. And unknown unit moving away from Mersch, and that's an HQ battalion, and another HQ battalion, and that's it. All right. <laughs> so that is so interesting. So we could actually go up here and attack these HQ battalions. I think that's what we want to do because looking at this um, like an attack like this here let's have a look here they have 87 when it comes to uh, with help so that's always going to help them so going for the HQ battalions here would be very nice is it called HQ battalions I'm not sure HQ divisional HQs so yeah interesting <coughs> Sorry. So let's um, take a look at the situation just really fast. So, <coughs> so they've pretty much emptied Mersh. They have one, they have two, they have three units here and they're all very, extremely weak. So Mersh is going to be taken by us this turn without doubt, really. We can just take a look at some odds here like that and Mersh is ours. Uh, this one is not as easy, but uh, still, it will be once we show up here. And then, yeah, it's just going to be really easy. Uh, looking a little bit up, further up north here in the Merzig Valley here towards Martelange, we do have an unknown unit here that's just sitting there, um, which sort of makes sense, I guess. Um, we had a unit over here, I think, that escaped. So probably move this guy up here and see if we can hit this guy, perhaps. Uh, well, it's going to be costly, though, but maybe go into Bushdorf and try and get rid of that one. And um, we have one sitting in Everlange here. I don't know what that is. I think this one is um, uh, 
the speed bump. So we should be able to move this one in here and then attack him uh, from both directions, basically. Maybe, yeah. In this case, I'm not sure whether that one, I think this one is better because we hit them with concentric attack. We'll see. And then this one sitting in Reichlange and uh, I don't know what this one is. We still have reinforcements of um, CCR 10th showing up here. There's just a, like a weak or average infantry unit anyway. <clears throat> However, we need to take care of these guys uh, this turn as much as we can. This one did not move, which may also make sense, of course, but um, yeah, we are going to try and see if we can. This is so close to Arlon, even. So I need to take a look at one thing here because we have these guys here. So without even going fast or marching, we can reach this one. With March, we should be able even to maybe go into our long, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sure, you go down there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do you? Yeah. So thing is here, you're just traveling. So this this is like no ups and downs. Well, there is actually an up there, right? Yeah. So there is actually an up there, and this one is staying. Okay. So this is. Height one or oh, that no no that's height two that's interesting. Okay, so there are some ups and downs here, like down there, and then down keep on. Okay, so let's let me have a look here. So right now we're at height two. So there is I mean it's not that important. There's one going down, there's one going up. And that's it. So there are two changes in elevation, basically, and going there's one, two, three, and one up, four. Yeah, it's the same, actually. It is the same. So we should be able to reach our long, really. But in saying that, uh, I think, first of all, we don't know what's in here. Well, actually, once we show up here, we will know that there is no one in there or if there is one there. But this might might be more difficult. So there could definitely be someone there. So we're gonna, just going to have to drive normally, I think, with something. To just flush anything out here. Like, um, not a tank, but like this, for example. Well, it's not going to be these ones because we all know that the first battalion... He's always walking. So that's so, 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 so sad. Uh, I'm going to actually print screen this one here um, for the developers and just ask what has been their thought of about this one. So uh, anyway, <coughs> in general, it looks very nice. At the same time, I don't know if I should rush everything here could be interesting to go and hit, try and hit these um, divisional um, HQs, like bringing up, I don't know, tanks or something. I don't know. So we'll see what, what we're going to do. This one here could definitely go up and see where they are, uh, basically. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. <coughs> anyway, let's leave this one here and um, in here. That's a one-to-one, -one. that doesn't help. These guys can't really fight this one, but they can at least go into Otthof and take that one, which is fantastic. And um, yeah, this one cannot take that one, but I would love to do that almost, because this one might not have to go here. It could go down here even. I don't know. And I don't know, even know if this is going to be that important because we have like, we're overpowered right now, I think, with these guys. Perhaps, I don't know, depending on what kind of reinforcements they have received or will receive. And also, if I am able to 
remove this strategic supply base. They won't have any supply here. And looking supply wise here, well, actually, yeah, I mean, if, if I think they can only deploy, maybe they can deploy from all through like the southern sector or something. Maybe they can show up here, for example, as long as they have supply in this hex. So I don't know if, you know, but at least we're pushing them out. So which means that maybe it's going to be very, very important to take this one and actually kind of important to go for like La Glaze or uh, even Neuf Chateau, perhaps. Oh, we'll see. That's later stuff. Here we have the pesky units over here um, and we have like seven of them or something. And that's, uh, I mean, as long as we push them back, that's good enough for sure. So uh, I'm, I'm, I would be happy with that, but it's going to be too difficult, I think, for the 26 Volks Grenadiers or the, the few units that are here, unless we're able to push them on the other side of some kind of river. But we, I don't think we have that kind of river over here. It's just a small river right here. That's a small river right there. Let's see here. There's the river that I was thinking about. But it's such a small river also. Yeah. And there, that's where it ends. So, I mean, really, I would really need to crush these guys, rather. Attack and, and destroy them. That's what I would like to do, but... Anyway, up in Bastogne, what does it look like? We have a new unit up here and there is, I don't know if that is an HQ unit in here or if that's something else. And uh, yeah, I think there was one HQ moving across this one. But at the same time, I don't think I will pursue with these guys. And really these guys need to go back and these ones as well just turn it off, off to uh over to these guys we'll see so yeah these guys can definitely go in here to try and take care of this guy uh, that would be all right i think or maybe just move this guy forward anyway yeah that's probably what i'm going to do anyway these guys uh, like that I could probably do Let's see what do they have still 50 airborne this might actually be a problem across the bridge but that would be important to do because we want to take this one if this one is blown and that looks fantastic but yeah that's empty that one is empty this one we don't know yet but we will see what's in here. And then this one will be difficult to know. And look at that. I think these are new units, aren't they? 84th Infantry Division. Let's have a look. 84th. There we go. So turn 16. Hmm. And we're right now at turn 22. So they have arrived some time ago. However, they are on foot, so maybe they have traveled quite far from the west or something. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see what happens. And that is actually kind of strong, so we'll see. I think 116th might have some trouble, but they will have reinforcements here also coming in. So <clears throat> putting a unit over here would be very, very nice. And that's something we actually can do. So, yeah, in this turn, we will take this one, of course. Or, of course, I'm not so sure, actually. That's terrible. Why is that? Is it because they are weak? Yeah, 75, 70. We don't have the uh, offensive power. These guys have 68. I think these ones were used during the night time, actually, and that's why they're so tired. We do have Verfus, 
And we have a stag, but he's also tired. Yeah, this does not look great. So, Verfus without ammo. <laughs> oh my. Do we have some, but they're gonna have to use that against this one. Which we don't have a whole lot, so. Wow. So, probably gonna have to bring some of these guys. Yeah. Not gonna be able to reach there now, but still, the this is the way we, we want to go. This guy didn't even move. That's interesting. Sure, I can't hit this guy like that, but I can use these guys or these guys. And probably will, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Or maybe this as a stopper is good enough, actually. We'll see. All right, and then these just uh, guys are just gonna move, uh, move in, and I don't know if they're gonna move in this direction. I think. And behind that we have the ten SS moving forward, destroying the road, and moving towards Orthoville. So that's the plan right there. Okay. And they don't have a whole lot of units in here. There's some there, but not here. So this guy here ought to be dead. Exactly. So he's gone, which make us, makes us able to attack that one next turn if we want to. And this one we could also go for. Well, so there are lots of opportunities there and we have these guys coming in also. So all in all that looks good and here we can hit this guy for example that doesn't look good but maybe we can get some reinforcements from here and also here yeah that looks good it's unfortunate that we can't use these guys up here but oh well. so yeah or maybe i should just not care about this guy here now i want to hit him and then go back okay and in Vilsalm, it looks fantastic. Um, here we, we can continue driving towards Manhai really here. And we'll do that, I think, while we have the 18th and the 3rd Falsum Jäger Division hitting these guys. And that's going to be tough. It's not easy to bring these guys down, but it's going to cost us, it seems like. But we do have some purpose and stuff, but that doesn't help. So I don't know, <clears throat> we're going to have to probably circle around like that, actually. Yeah. Although we don't know if there's anyone in there, but maybe we can see that. So that's the plan right there. Let's see if we can take these ones down. This one, can we? Yeah, that one looks quite good. And um, yeah. And then we have these guys moving away here. And the tiger, he's getting better, actually. And this is, oh, it's actually working now. That's good. However, he needs reinforcements if he's going to hit these guys, I think. 13 to 1, 6 to 1. 13 to 1 is quite good. 42, depending on what that is. Probably a ridiculous kind of ratio right there. <clears throat> so maybe get some reinforcements in here would be nice yeah exactly here we go these guys and then hit these guys and uh, yeah so and here is Stumo and we have been able to cross here which means that we should really go for this attack right there together with these ones and go for Verbomo and cut them off basically uh, is this a vital supply line really not how about these guys here there you go so that's important for them they they do have other options of course but it's interesting to see that they're really moving through Verviers. So that's important, so I can understand why they are gathering lots of units here. Maybe that's like a lifeline for them or something. 
So that's interesting to note. Anyway, so uh, yeah, this is worrisome, I think, but we do have units being able to go down here. And we have some other units being able to take La Glaze and hit these guys here. Actually, a Sherman tank, which is kind of interesting. So go up here, just shut it down, basically. These guys can't. Oh, look at these guys. We can totally take that one out if we want to. Okay, cool. So, and here, yeah, I, I think the, these ones are reinforcements for sure. Here's a tank battalion with lots of tanks also. Um, let's have a look at stats when it comes to exactly that with Sherman tanks. Let's see here. These are M4s, right? Here we go. M. No? Oh, here we go. Down here. Yeah, look at that. So that's reinforcements, but I don't know if it's from the 84th. Another thing is... Um, uh, looking at allied reinforcements, since we know that there is something wonky with this numbering here, we don't know if these are correct, the turns. So looking at the 84th, it could be 20 December that is more correct, which we are on 22nd, uh, 22nd right. No, no, that's 22nd round, 22nd right. But we are actually on 21st December. So could definitely make sense that this one is correct but that one is not correct so yeah so maybe we should just follow these ones rather if that is the case we will see third armored showing up i don't know if this is um third army patterns third army or not i don't know i, I don't know that enough actually let me have a look at that actually because i'm a bit curious okay so it seems to me okay so it's they have cores i think that this yeah this is the one that i was thinking about but inside here, yeah, it's, I don't know. You'd have to take a look at that stuff. Nah, I don't, I'm not going to do that now. Anyway, cool. It's interesting. Um, so it would make sense that th these are actually reinforcements. These ones, what are these? Ninth infantry. Let's have a look at the ninth infantry. They should have like showed up, I would assume maybe three turns ago or something like that. I don't know, maybe on the 19th or something. Let's have a look. What do we have? My memory is gone here. Ninth infantry, okay. Let's see here. Yeah, 20th as well. So these are reinforcements that showed up yesterday, basically, which is really, really interesting. Cool. So that makes sense. And before that, I think we had first infantry that showed up here and that was here. I And I think first infantry that they had actually their HQ historically in spa, if I'm not mistaken. So, and then they had the 82nd and the 101st showing up also. But here we have the first, for example. But really it's now, it's only, uh, yeah, it's a mix of the three right now. Which also makes uh, um, what I was going for last time is that um, what we see is what we get, basically. I mean, these are the units that they have, basically. Everything we're seeing pretty much, I think. And in here we have the first together with some 99th infantry. Wow, that's interesting. Mm, that's cool. Why I'm like surprised here is that the 99th, they were maybe not all of them, but uh, they were front units uh, on the, um, December the 16th uh, that managed to escape then, I guess. 
And here we have the 82nd Airborne Division. Yeah, exactly. All right, cool. Let's continue then up by Spa here. So this one made the unfortunate error of crossing. So he is no longer alive, I'd say. Um, just looking at these tanks, for example, and he's gone. So yeah, he's gone. Now the problem is crossing here. There is actually um, one thing we could go for. We could go for a card repairing this one. That's one thing we could do. But I'm not sure you could actually do that because he's sitting on the other side. So I'm not sure you can actually. That would be interesting. But otherwise, this is... It's not that strong, actually, this one. It's not overwhelmingly strong. It's fields also, which is nice. So perhaps I could go in here and then like attack like crazy over here. I don't know if that's going to work after an artillery bombardment. They do actually have... It's not great, but they do have internal supplies. So we could do something there. And we do, do also have these guys here. That's cool. And then we have this problem here. That is a bunch of rather strong, but not overly strong. And this one here, we could probably take out even without artillery. Couldn't we? I'm thinking like that's a good start. And since we have that one and well, we have, maybe we should do this instead. We go for this one and this one and that, this one perhaps, that one, this one, that one. Yeah, let's see if we just add these guys also. Yeah, I don't know, but we should get like a six to one at least here. So that's good, even if that is a very strong unit with lots of bazookas there. And in here we have that, could possibly also go in and attack the, that one afterwards. They have one howitzer and one howitzer, okay, so it really doesn't matter, but at least getting two big stacks against this one would be nice definitely would be nice and we do have reinforcements coming up here as well so yeah it shouldn't be a problem <coughs> really should not yeah there's no one that can go up here and then attack but that is fine so yeah we'll definitely do some good stuff here let's just have a look at this one yeah as i thought it's going to be too difficult so you need two stacks to be able to fight against these guys but we would also be doing good if we could attack a stack like this with Verfus but that's probably going to be the next turn maybe it would be nice to sit in here and just volley things in here but yeah I mean, it's possible to do that even now, of course. Well, that's a move cost of 41, uh, 81. Well, we're going to turn our attention to the west here first, because that's our really main avenue, really. And, and what we would want to do, of course, is take this bridgehead over here, take this position right here, and uh, then with a big chunk of units and just sit here and in here. And then um, uh, withstand any attack that we get, combined attack, and hopefully that's going to work. Yeah. Something like that. Maybe even going there and hitting this guy. But that's, yeah, could be. We'll see. And here, Holban A. That does not look bad at all, I think this one can we attack and kill this guy perhaps 
do some damage at least. They have an A11, a, a kind of strong guns there. Oh, okay. That's long range right there. So, yeah, going for the 155 uh, millimeter gun would be nice to do. 14th Cav. Uh, these guys could also join in if we want to, if we really need to. I'd rather keep them on roads. No way they actually tracked, so that'd be fine. How about these guys? That should not be a problem either. Yeah, there you go. So we can kill off this guy probably, this one, and this one also, I think. Oh, uh, yeah, I think so. Because there are only four of them, five of them. Should not be a problem. And this guy, I don't know what that one is, but we can drive forward here at least and take a better look at this guy here. That should work. It's light for us, so we should definitely be able to see what that is. <coughs> this one we can just leave here. So it's difficult for these guys to escape. Yeah. Maybe even join <laughs> to get the concentric bonus or something. We'll see. And then open lies open, I'd say. Sorry for that. Um, so, yeah. Or maybe doesn't because of the, all the forest and everything and reinforcements coming down. So we'll see. But first things first, eliminate these guys first. And then we have these guys in here. <coughs> what are we going to do here? Are we just going to try and attack here but here we need to go here first and then here second basically i think this one we should definitely be able to take care of maybe not that one but Panzi i guess no three to one and this one perhaps something to that effect and this guy should also be able to attack and kill off so it looks good, these uh, two, and then um, setting up for a new attack uh, towards open is what we're going to do. And up here, it is not that difficult either to go for this one here. We could even go here and attack from four directions right now, which is fantastic. And these guys here, they ought to be gone. I don't know what that is. That seems to be nothing. But there is probably something in there. But um, yeah. Ooh, we actually have some tanks in there. And these are from the 78th. I think these are old ones, aren't they? Let's have a look. Yeah, these ones have all, all, always existed. Let's see here. Maybe we can take a look. Okay. Oh, here we have. Um, maybe we can see. Look at the third army here, for example. No. Are these the only ones deployed at the moment? Is that why? No, not only. That's turn 54 and so on. And this is when they. Ah, oh, this is when they show up. I see. Right. Same as for me. I think. Right, but it doesn't, that's first army, it doesn't say any third army, because it's not been deployed, but it doesn't show in any way that it has like a number when it is being deployed, but so they have a separate allied reinforcement. And in this case, it's more difficult to really know third armored, I don't know if that means that it's I don't think this is third army, but I don't know this too much. Anyway, whatever. Up here, anyway, uh, this looks good. Anyway, uh, this one, we um, also have an advantage being able to go here and attack also for against this one. So it looks fantastic. We do have this one. Not going to be able to do much about this. Oh, actually, look at those stugs being able to attack tanks from above. Wow, that actually looks fantastic. They have so many of them. So if you have enough stugs, I guess, 
and being from level two against level zero, that helps. That's good to know. All right. <clears throat> so um, let's have a look at these ones. Yeah, so because I saw that they had lots of M10s there, that's going to be difficult, but not impossible at all. We can just totally enclose them, I think, and then attack them. Uh, it is a bit difficult in that they have howitzers and stuff. But this is light forest, which means that maybe we can drive up here and attack them with Verfus. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Ooh, well, we have so many units in here. Artillery and Verfus. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay. And up here, can we take Rutgen? I don't think so. I think there's a tank unit in there. We can go with these ones and attack from behind, but these are infantries and Stugs really want armor. As we could see, we could go in here and set up for an attack against these tanks, but they're in heavy urban as well. So that's maybe tough. Well, this one is surrounded for sure. So that means that he is dead, kind of easy. Yeah, he's gone. Yeah, that's good, which means we can advance here. We can advance in there and uh, surround this one. And perhaps hit this one, which means if we can push this one back, we can surround them as well from all of these four directions, which is fantastic. And we can drive these guys up here and attack this guy. There, there you go. So it looks fabulous. It looks like we might be able to take Rutgen by evening this day, actually. And then we have this one also. It's a major supply base, which is fantastic. It's good to have once we reach or want to go towards open, I think. Well, well, that's it, guys. Um, yeah, this was uh, the enemy turn and we have lots of uh, interesting things that have happened. Um, and um, yeah, it looks very good, I have to say, and it's going to be really, really interesting. I think the most I don't know, one of the most interesting things I think is down here in the south, really, um, which is kind of cool, really. <clears throat> and also uh, us having to solve uh, this situation to more and verbomont also. So it's going to be interesting. <clears throat> Sorry about that. So, um, yeah, I need something to drink for my throat here. I can I'm like talking all the time. Anyway, that's it. So I'm going to call it and I'll see you in the next episode, which is going to be uh, the beginning of 1200 hours and we'll move all our stuff basically. Okay, guys, take care now. Bye.